The Guy, Sharon and Clint podcast. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Now in this podcast intro, Clint is going to get dressed for a wedding that he is going to. I'm rushing out of the studio to get to a wedding. He's been doing the whole show without a shirt on, which he says was an accident, but it seems like imper- uh, it was kind of purpose. I like it, um, not because I enjoy the view. Well, I enjoy the view too, but because I... I think it's funny that we're like this white trash radio station where yeah. our anchor doesn't have a shirt on while he's doing the show. I didn't have no shirt for the whole show. I like just, he's doing it out of a caravan or something like that. I took my shirt off about half an hour ago to put deodorant on, and I've got a really nice clean white shirt, and I wanted the deodorant to dry first because I'm borrowing the shirt. That's, oh, that's white trash as well, eh? That, that, that is quite white trash. He's going from radio hillbilly DJ to sophisticated savant in the time that this intro takes, which is going to be quite a while. At the bottom, he's just taking the tags? Or is this a brand new suit? Yeah, it's brand new. I don't wear suits every day, so... You bought a suit for a wedding. Well, and what else was I going to do? It's Valentine's it, it was Day. Either get, it was either get a suit... Yeah, you could hire one. Whenever you hire a suit, you end up looking like you're going to a ball, though, eh? You can't... It's either get a suit or have no suit to wear, so I had to get one. Okay. It's a lovely suit, though. It looks nice. It's blue, dark blue, is it? Do you like this shirt? They look like they've got wood. It's lovely. It looks like it's got wood Is buttons. anybody else interested in this part of the podcast than us? They're really enjoying This is a live... Well, this is broadcasting history, really, isn't it? Because no one has ever heard the live putting on of a suit this shirt smells via fantastic. a podcast w- network. Mm. The suit is white with brown buttons. No, the shirt is. This, this suit, the, well, come on, I'm mate. Not, it's I'm not, not a Scux Deluxe going to my school ball in 2001. <laughs> it's a blue suit with a white shirt. He's wearing a black watch. Yes. Which is lovely. Talk he about the smells shoes. like Spice Bomb, which is the same fragrance I have that was bought to me by a girlfriend who I am no longer in a relationship with, so it just smells like sadness to me. <laughs> um, the shoes are amazing. They are uh, leather brogues, but with canvas parts to it. So Inserts. they're blue and brown. Yeah, canvas insert. Like the body of it is blue canvas, mm-hmm. but the tip of it is brown leather. That is very suave. Mm. They're, co- they're by a company called Hawkins McGill. Where'd you get these from? Uh, Urban Outfitters. Wow. Okay, that's enough You're going to look fantastic. No, listen, keep on listening. Oh, no, no, no. When they come back from the podcast, they'll be able to enjoy the finished product, Clint's final suit. Okay. Let's do my pants up. Here's the podcast. Guy, Sharon and Clint. Edge. Now, Valentine's Day mm. is one of those days where it's happy for a lot of people. Mm. A lot of people are happy. I personally am single and alone and sad. <laughs> so it's quite a sad day. And I've noticed that, that like the people who are single, it's much worse for them than it is good for the happy people, I reckon. I heard Valentine's Day referred to something as something else today. Um, what, as, what'd you call it? Um, single Awareness Day. <laughs> because you are hyper aware of how single you are. And the acronym for Single Awareness Day is... Sad. Sad. Oh, I was getting there, mate. I was getting there. It's also Students Against Drink Driving. But anyway, we'll, we'll don't, we won't confuse no, the two ideas. No, that's S-A-D-D. Yeah, okay. Well, S-A-1-D. Sad day. Yeah, Single Awareness Day. So first start, shout out to all those people um, out there who are alone today. Don't feel bad about it. I'm alone too. I'm okay with it, you know. Yeah, you are single on... Um, uh, Valentine's Day, but you're also single on all the other days as well. This is just a teardrop in a whole swimming pool full of sadness, guys. So don't <laughs> don't get too don't focus on this one day as being bad. Your whole life is terrible, and mine is too. Clint, you're happy though. Clint, you're, you've got a relationship and things are going good for you. I'm going to a wedding tonight. That's that's an easy Valentine's Day. I'll tell like you what, the ultimate romantic Valentine's. Day. I'm going to watch the people celebrate their love in front of me. Because there's so much pressure not, not in that way. <laughs> Well, it could be. It could be that sort of mm. wedding. There's so much pressure on Valentine's Day. There's, there's been a lot of flowers arriving yeah. at work. Yeah. It seems like a constant stream of flowers and cupcakes None of and them are for me. coming in through the door. None of them are for you. None of them are for a few people. Chang, you can hear us. Did you get anything for Valentine's Day today? No, big thumbs down from Changeling. He didn't pick up anything either. I'm not surprised. The way he treated that girl the other week, though, I'm not surprised, oh, yeah. to be honest. He did you get anyone anything for Valentine's Day? No, he didn't. No, he's just giving us the sign. Move on. So um, so we wanted to know, I guess the, the thing that I, quite of interested me was I wanted to hear like examples of people in the offices who had expressed their love maybe a bit too much. Mm. Maybe they've gone a bit too far with the big bouquet of roses. Mm-hmm. Who are you kind of jealous, jealous of on, on Valentine's and Day? And even if you're not jealous, is there someone in your office who you're just like, oh, you're trying a bit too hard there, mate? Yeah. Or, <laughs> Who's st- gone overboard? Stop rubbing it in our face. Yeah, is there someone in your office who the the dis- the PDA has been so yeah. um, P... <laughs> <laughs> That it's embarrassing. Guy and Clint here today. Sharon is away at a wedding, which is a nice thing to do on Valentine's Day. 13 minutes past 3 o'clock. 
on Valentine's Day. The most romantic slash awkward day of the year because sometimes it just hits home a bit too hard how alone I really am. Is it is is Christmas if you're single a sad day as well? No, Christmas is a great day because it's a day for family. Oh yeah, but true. But Christmas if all oh, your family have died, then it's quite a sad day, I guess. And then if you're single as well, it's very close proximity to Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it could be an awkward Ooh, day. They don't make a Hallmark card for this. <laughs> but Valentine's Day just isn't worth the stress, really, is it? In my opinion. No, and it's pretty commercialised. Like, yeah. it's a f- kind of forced upon you. Like, yeah. if you're a good boyfriend slash girlfriend, you probably express your feelings 365 days of the year, yeah. rather than just relying on that one day, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was in a relationship, ladies. <laughs> so we thought we date some calls from you today um, on those PDAs in your office that are a bit over the top, a bit weird. People are sort of showing it off in front of you. Um, Steph, hello. Hi. So has this happened for you? No, um, and it's not in my office either. It was just something I saw on Facebook today. Yeah. A friend of mine uh, posted up a picture of a tattoo that's really nice writing of her name. Yeah. So the, the, ma- the man's gone and got her name tattooed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe you were able to hide this for two days. It's beautiful. Thanks, hon. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I feel awkward with the chocolate bar I got you. <laughs> 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 it's a big call to get someone's name tattooed on you, though, isn't it? It is. They are married, at least, but that's not everything. <laughs> Kids, if you're listening, don't get someone's name tattooed on you. You break up in two years, and then you've got to turn it, get it turned into an awkward dragon or something. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Steph. Uh, Greta, hello. Hi. So this happened to, at your school, right? One of these things? Yeah. yeah some girl us. got A girl at school, she got sent her a bouquet of a hundred roses. Whoa. A hundred yeah. and is... How, how old? Yeah. Um, I think she's like 17. Man. Aren't they like... I don't know because I didn't deliver any Like that. $9 a rose. Holy Whoa. shit. So that's close... That's $900 worth of roses. Yeah. A bit over the top. <laughs> is she dating an uh, awkwardly old businessman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was all over Facebook and everything, which is like rubbing it in every single are you, person's Are you face. jealous? Do you wish that was you? Yes. I'm jealous, oh, you too. You do wish it was you? Yes, I want 100 roses. Did you get anything? No, I didn't. Don't. I don't like Valentine's Day. <laughs> don't worry, roses are just going to die anyway, and then you'll have to throw them in the bin just like... Hey, Greta, I'm sure there's someone special for you out there somewhere, and I'm sure that chick will cut herself on the um, on the needles in those roses. What are they called? The thorns. thorns. Those thorns will get her in the end, babs. Gypsy, hello. Hi. So you um, are the person who's been delivering the flowers today, right? Yes. Yes, tell us about been that. Been really busy. Yeah, you would be busy today. Pardon? You would be busy today. Do you get the classic when someone walks in like, oh, you shouldn't have, or, <laughs> yes. oh, are those for me? Yeah, yeah, there'd be a All lot of that. Time. How often do you pretend that you have given them the, the flowers? Is that a good gag? Pardon? Is it good? Is a good gag to go? This is from me, and pretend it's like you. It's that's giving it to them, like you're giving them the flowers yourself. Oh no! But a couple of people have assumed. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it a good gag to pick the loneliest looking person in the office and then go over to them and go, "These are for you"? And when they say, "Really?" you go, "No, psych." <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's too cruel. All right, hey, thanks, Gypsy. Last one, Nick. You've got a different take on this whole thing, right? There's been some Valentine's deliveries happen in your in your office at your workplace. Yeah, mate. Bit yeah. of a bit of a what's the word for it? Oh, uh, that's left my mind, but yeah, mate. Scandal? One of the boys received, yeah, a bit of a scandal, received, you know, a bit of flowers from his wife, and then... Lovely. You know, two more show up from uh, Sarah and Bridget, so... Ooh. Yeah. So he got Ooh. the bouquet from the missus, and then he yep. got some flowers from each of the mistresses <laughs> as well. Yeah, apparently they're just sort of friends, but I don't know, you know, that many flowers, mate. Do you work <laughs> in the mayor's office at Auckland City Council? <laughs> Oh, could be Len Brown. Could be, could be Len Brown. You'd think, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of that going on. No roses in the studio today, though, so that's all right. Happy Valentine's Day if you are having Valentine's Day today. Peel on the text machine saying things like, hey, I'm married and alone. Very good point. That's probably the saddest thing of Is that of the whole text message? Peel are saying things like, what about the people who are in a relationship and still got nothing today? That's a very good point. It puts pressure on relationships that already There's exist. There's a lot of pressure on Valentine's all around. So. And s- someone texts in saying, how does Guy not have a girlfriend? I'll tell you why, because I've got a terrible personality. <laughs> Guy! Sharon!
and Clint. On the edge. There's Eminem. Not afraid. He's in the country at the moment. I don't know. We don't know where he is. Um, Guy and Clint here. The night show tried to track him down last night. Oscar got chased out of Eminem's hotel by Eminem's security. Um, (sighs) Amazing. But we still didn't get close to Eminem. What hotel was it? I think it was Sky City Grand. Yep. Should I say that? I don't know. I saw some massive... Uh, African American dudes in yeah. tracksuits who looked like security kind of guys heading in and out of there the other day. So that could be very well a good rumor. Telltale sign, I suppose. Speaking of people who are also in the country, Chang's here. <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, still here. You got residency after, after 14 state, years. Yeah. yeah, I got New Zealand passport. You're legal, so. eh? Yeah, legal. You're no longer an Not illegal a- Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> Not an overstay, that's what you're wondering. So, ch- no, no one's wondering that, Chang. Hi, there, am I. Now, Chang, you, <laughs> to this week, have put together the um, the cream of the crap from our yes, show. Yes, th- there's a lot of stuff this week. It's been really busy. It's been a good year. Yeah. Week. Well, a good week. <laughs> I'm, con- I'm so you're tired so from confused. this week. As our producer, Chang, as yeah. the guy who's ultimately, ultimately responsible for the product that we produce, yeah. Do we do a good job this week? Yeah, I thought we did a great job. Oh, really? Thanks, yeah. Chang. A great job. Yeah, great job. That's high praise from producer Chang, because yeah. normally we say to him, Chang, did you enjoy that bit? And he goes, eh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, today's another day, so and we don't have Sharon. So. Okay, this is <laughs> Chang's cream of the crap. Check it out. Guy Sharon and Clint's cream of the crap. It's been a massive week on the Guy Sharon and Clint show, and Guy Williams got nominated for something this week. <laughs> Mr. Guy Williams... We would like to congratulate you on an achievement that we have been lucky enough to reveal to you this afternoon. God, what is it? You've been nominated in a nationwide search in the best of the box for sexiest man on yes. TV. That's awesome. And this is how the nominated sexiest man on TV spends his Valentine's Day. Ignite the magic this Valentine's Day with some new Durex Embrace Pleasure Gels. I'm going to lube myself up on those on Valentine's Day and just slither around on the floor because I'm very lonely. (laughs) 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 Hmm, okay. Sharon this week had problem pronouncing some of our listeners' names. Just one more time, Sharon. Run through the list of names that you read out. Tequin Frasar. I think that's how you say it. It's how it's spelled. Hello, caller. How do you pronounce your name, Tequin Frasar? It's Tegan Fraser. (laughs) (laughs) Win. Clint. We tried to give away Ronda the Honda, and someone came very, very, very close again. Name nine pie fillings. Go. Steak, mint, mint cheese, steak and cheese, steak and mushroom, steak and onion. Three more. Uh, Quick. Lamb. Two. Two more. Oh. Ronda the Honda is still up for grabs, so tune in to this station for more chances to win. Each week we get the most random stories from our listeners. I need to apologise to my partner, Grant. What have you done to Grant, Rachel? (laughs) He's 46 and he was a little bit slack for a few weeks there, so I actually put a little blue pill in his coffee and didn't tell him. Whoa! Hang on. Rachel! A little blue pill. Do you mean a Viagra? Yes. What? You and it was fantastic. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I am having a hard time tossing up whether I love my girlfriend or I love Snickers Pods more. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is a classic. Uh, the good mean, thing yeah. about Snickers Pods is that you can cheat on them with other chocolate things. You can. But you can't cheat on your girlfriend. The better thing that your girlfriend has that your pods don't have is the fact that you can get action out of your girlfriend and not your Snickers Pods. Well, some would beg to differ, but... <laughs> <laughs> My mum contacted me and asked me if she would like to have a threesome with me and my girlfriend. Oh. My missus actually, she wanted to go for it, what? and they'll bar together, and I'm what? by what? myself. What? 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 You can listen to Ant's full story on our podcast, oh, and also on this week's podcast. Listen to the prank that we played on Tom that made him sound like this. I'm not f***ing paying, it's not coming out of my wages. Oh. Come on, mate, you earn enough. <laughs> No, it's the principal, mate. I'm not f***ing <laughs> And that's all for this week's Guy, Sharon and Clint's Cream of the Crap. We'll catch you all next week. Guy, Sharon and Clint on the edge. So you know how you want to give my car away so bad? Everyone wants to give your car away so bad, mate. I was driving my car today, as I do every single day, and... Um, <laughs> and you love it. Even after having it for about five years now, I found a new feature. Wow. So I flipped the phone into record quickly, and I managed to capture the feature. Check this out. So I'm sitting inside Ronda at the moment, um, just to give you an example of the sort of car you're so desperately trying to win. Um, first of all, it can only get talk back. You, you know, you, you can feel there's something wrong, you know there's something wrong, and you sit down and you... Blah, 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 blah. Also, I've just noticed, even after all these years of having it, I just found something out. When you put your foot on the brake, the radio reception goes all staticky. For some reason, the radio is linked to the brake. So listen, I'll give you an example. Yeah. <laughs> Which is exactly what you want brake. to do. Yeah. Um... 
Right. 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 <laughs> you sure you want it? So that's just the type of car that it is. It's probably better that the uh, radio uh, cuts out when the brake cuts out than having it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah, at least the brakes work, I suppose. Every time you put on the radio, the brakes stop working. All right, let's cut the crap. It's time to play Wins Clint's Car. It's time for New Zealand's favourite low cost game show Win Clint's Car. You We've know, got some callers on the line. Let's do this. Shaz Dog is going to be very upset if this goes without <laughs> her. Uh, Bruce, good afternoon. Hello, hello. Have you got a car, mate? I do. I have a high ace van. What year? 98. Is it? Uh, a, 08. 08. A, oh, wait. That's, that's, that's like almost 15 years newer than my car, but whatever, bro. What do you do in your van? <laughs> I'm a courier, courier driver. Awesome. So you're going to have this for a car for doing burnouts on the weekends? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, let's go. You ready to play? Yep. Okay, Bruce, name nine chocolate brands. Go. Uh, crunchy, lemon, um, raspberry, cherry milk. Brands, not flavours. Oh. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> crunchy <laughs> lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bruce, no car for you, mate, except for the car that you already have. Good as. All good, bro, thanks. Yeah. Uh, another one, Sierra, hello. Hello. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You sound beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. I know, right? Um, now that we've had, had this a wee bit of flirting, can you not take my car off me? <laughs> oh, I'm, I really, if I get it, I so need it. Oh, okay, good, because I don't. <laughs> this is awkward guy. I, I honestly am just sitting here, and I can't think up one to do. I've actually drawn a blank. Are you serious? I'm, think, I'm thinking really fast. Did you just put too much time thinking about okay, scandal? Okay, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, okay? Um, Sierra, are you ready? Yeah. Sarah, name nine New Zealand clothing brands. Go. Oh, my gosh. Um, clothing brands. Oh, I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, New Zealand. I'm American. Who knows? Wow. Um, uh, the all black t-shirts. Um, well, I didn't pick up your accent. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you just say uh, the all black t-shirts? <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. It was the best I could do. Thanks for playing Wins Clint's car. Hey, thanks. Bye. All good. See you, mate. Okay, the car survives the weekend. Sharon will be happy about that. Damn it. Guy Sharon and Clint. Itch. I'm going to the uh, football rugby nines uh, this weekend. The Dick Smith NRL, rug, uh, NRL nines? Yes, that's the official title of it. I'm quite looking forward to it because I do love league and I love like the party atmosphere. I'm a little dreading at the same time though as well because I don't um, I don't drink. I'm a, um, what's, what's it called? I'm a, I'm a pussy. Mormon. Oh. Pussy, yeah. And uh, so I, I don't, I, I went along to get a bit of a um, warm up today to get a bit of a feel of the competition. I went along for Jono and Ben. I went to the um, uh, press conference to launch the whole thing and uh, went to talk to some famous NRL players. Is that the big thing they had at um, Aotea Square with the mayor? No, I went to the thing before that. And it was in a weird hotel where they were having breakfast and oh, I okay. sat next to Daly Cherry Evans. If you don't know who that is, he's quite a famous league player. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I wanted to pinch his cheeks because he's such a little cutie. That's quite a weird thing <laughs> to say about a professional rugby league player. Was the wolf man there? The Wolfman? Who's that? Uh, the guy with the beard that looks like Wolverine. No, nah, I wish. The guy from the Manly Seagulls. No, nah, yeah. he wasn't there. It was just basically the captains. Was Sean Johnson there? Sean Johnson was there. I was tried to give him a high five. He didn't notice, and so I just had to like pretend like it wasn't a high five and rub it against my head. You know that awkward thing? <laughs> was it Manu Vatuvai there, Oos? No, nah, it was just... <laughs> it was, stop naming players who weren't there. It was just like all the captains. Okay. No one's going to put Manu Vatuvai in charge of the team. <laughs> he's a great player, but he's mainly just running fast and smashing into people. More than like... Uh, Manu... Yeah. Manu, what's the game plan? <laughs> <laughs> so Sean Johnson was the was the representative from the Warriors. Cool. It was an awkward situation because they said so. The whole the whole idea of the sketch was that um, little guy was telling me everything I had to do. Mm. So um, they're asking for there's this huge banquet room full of famous league players mm. and uh, and all these dignitaries and refs and stuff like that. They asked for any questions mm. and um, you're supposed to direct them at a captain who was sitting up on stage. Yeah. Little guy tells me just to yell out, "Go the Warriors!" So they go, "Guy Williams, what is your question?" And I say, um, "My question's for the Warriors." And I would just like to say that the Warriors go hard, and I just like to ask them why they rock so much. <laughs> go the Warriors. <laughs> What was that was awkward as heck. What was their response? Their response was, uh, thank you very much, and we're going to try our best. They gave like a completely polite response. Good, okay. So afterwards, we had the meet and greets. I ended up, um, little guy kept on asking me to, this is a sense of humour because he's eight years old, to kiss them. So I kissed about four <laughs> or five players. 
<laughs> it was it was quite not too bad for a lonely guy on Valentine's Day. Actually, it was a bit too much more stubble than the kisses I normally like. But still, you know, if you can if you can't kiss a girl, a guy is the next best thing, isn't it? What's well, the only other thing? It's the only animals. other thing. Yeah. So I asked the players what they were excited about um, for the weekend, and they said going out afterwards. <laughs> Pretty much all of them said they were looking forward to like the part the after party and stuff and like that's that. That's a dangerous thing for a rugby league player to <laughs> say, isn't it? It's not dangerous at all. Don't go there. I'm sure they're going to have good, clean fun this weekend. But there's so much on this weekend, and I wanted to know uh, what other people were doing. Chang, what are you up to this weekend? Well, it's the beginning of the uh, Chinese Lantern Festival. Yeah. So going there with a couple of friends tonight, and then going to the NRL nights all weekend. All the- weekend? All weekend. What are you dressing up as? Not dressing up. Why not? Do you have to dress up? We don't have to, but... Yeah. I got a kick-ass suit You don't suit have to wear a suit to a wedding, but you should. <laughs> I got a kick-ass suit. You know, from the movie Kick-Ass? Oh, you mean, a, you mean Kick-Ass' actual outfit? <laughs> yeah, <they. laughs> I thought you meant you just had, like, a really awesome suit. <laughs> no, I got a no. Kick-Ass suit, bro. Yeah, wear that. That'd be cool. Yeah, but... Eh, yeah, I'll think about it. Clint, you've got tickets to Eminem, don't you? Um, yes, kind of. You're trying to steal some tickets to Eminem <laughs> off a friend, but you don't want to pay the money for I've it? A, I've got a wedding this weekend, so all this stuff is going on, and then I've got a wedding to More than to. that, in Hawke's Bay, Mal C is coming. That's pretty huge, eh? Mal C from the Spice Girls? Yeah, Mal C from the Spice Girls is in New Zealand. She's playing in Hawke's Bay. Is down- she here now? Yeah, unbelievable. Way. Did the Spice Girl get into the country and we didn't even know? <laughs> no one even cared. Down in Wellington, yeah. they're having homegrown. Homegrown this weekend, and that's not quite sold out yet, so there's still a few tickets left to that. Splores on as well this weekend. There's yes. absolutely so much happening. Um, the Lantern Festival's on in Auckland. I w- uh, Whitbeck's Triathlon on but, this weekend. But these also. are all good things, guys. Mm. These are all awesome things that people can do. Mm. I want to know the crappy things people are doing this weekend. <laughs> what are your terrible weekend plans? So every all these amazing things are happening. Are you stuck into Pookie and doing doing nothing are you cleaning grandma's you're house you're never stuck into Pookie mate into Pookie the possibilities are limitless <laughs> it's a wonderful wo- 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 wonderland where you can shoot some pigs or that's about all you can do to be give honest give us a call on 0800 The Edge with your bleak as weekend plans what are you doing this weekend that isn't one of those really exciting things that we just named someone texts in how the hell did Chang afford to go to the nines racist <laughs> big weekend right around the country right we wanted to find out what uh, you, you were doing on the weekend but not necessarily what your good things were because there's so much good stuff going on Mm. i want to find out what the bad things that are happening are for example some people are just staying at home and cleaning all weekend they don't get to go to they don't get to go to eminem they don't get to go to the nines they're going to have a great time at home and that's what we really want to celebrate the heroes who are just doing the hard work at home heroes heroes i was trying to make them feel better about their crappy lives june you're a hero what are you doing this weekend i am cleaning the outside of my window (laughs) where do you live and tomorrow. <laughs> and is this, a, is, this, is this a plan for the weekend? Like, oh, can't wait for the weekend. It is because it's actually, I'm off work for two weeks on holiday, so. It's oh, like, okay. You know. Yeah, so dedicate the weekend to cleaning the outside of your windows. Yeah. June, did you hear my, like did you hear my um, travel guide to Timaru the other day? No. Oh, you didn't? Because I was shouting out to all the great things in Timaru. What's the best <laughs> thing to do in Timaru? Um, I don't know. I've only really lived here five years, so my partner's probably the best person at that. I've only and been here five years. Only five years? Only. Probably just the carnival when it's on. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was actually in the travel guide, actually. The Caroline Bay Carnival. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, close. All right. Hey, you enjoy the windows this weekend, mate. The uh, feelers once signed a dog at the Caroline, Caroline Bay Carnival. It's got to be good. Joe, what are you doing this weekend? Cleaning up dog poo at the SPCA. <laughs> at the SPCA. Oh, that's selfless of you. Can, can um, I ask? And I know that someone's got to do it. That that's answer's awesome. Probably no, but do you get paid for that? No, it is pure volunteer position. But good you on you. Lots of, of doggy kisses and cuddles that and poo. Kind of make up for the smell. Th- that is absolutely. Fa- I think you've got a heart of gold, mm. and that's a great thing to do this weekend. Happy Valentine's, by the way. Oh, I thank you. Do you get you to pl- as well? Do you get to play with the puppies? Yeah, that's Cute. my job. My, my boyfriend has to clean up the poo, and I, I cuddle them. You kick <laughs> the puppies away oh, while you adorable. clean up the cage. Yeah, win, win, win situation, I suppose. Well, totally. Win massive lose, but yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, Joe. Um, Katie, what are your plans for the weekend? I have to collect my urine in a bottle for 24 hours because <laughs> I might have a brain tumour. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, good that you're chipper about that, first and foremost. Yeah, good attitude. <laughs> Well, so, I can't do anything about it right now. So. Absolutely not. That's can, fantastic. Can I? It's not fantastic, guy. What's fantastic about I it? I like her attitude. <laughs> oh, the attitude. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you said for twenty four hours. Do you have to get all of it? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> no kidding. Can I? I got another question. I got a couple of questions actually. Um, where do you keep the bottle? <laughs> 
I haven't decided yet. It's half full of acid, so somewhere out of the reach of children. Do you keep it in the fridge? Like, is it fresher if you keep it refrigerated? And if you do keep it in the fridge, how do you prevent the kids or the hubby or someone from taking a... I didn't mean to say that. How do you make sure they know that it's wheeze? Uh, you tell them and they'll stay well clear of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, Katie, I hope you don't have a brain tumour, mate. I don't really know what else to oh, say. Other than that. Yeah, no, obviously, but good luck, okay? Those are some interesting weekend plans. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> cool. It's going to be hard to top that. Um, people from Tipuki, because we kind of gave a shout-out to them just before. Clint yes. maybe rubbish them a bit. Uh, I personally love them. Okay. Um, people from Tipuki have been texting it all over the place. My mate is my workmate is going to the Caravan Derby in Tipuki. That sounds so good. If Caravan Derby is where you drive around with the caravan on the back of your car and smash them up, then awesome. That's how, I imagine like caravan racing. Have you seen yeah, that yeah, on the yeah. YouTube? Yeah, yeah, and the caravans explode. They all axe out on the very first corner because none of them can get around it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> They're all just three point turning around the racetrack. I don't care what else is on this weekend. Homegrown, Splore, Nines, Lantern Festival, nothing can top the Caravan Derby into Pookie, assuming it's what we made up in our heads. Guys, Sharon and Clint's itch. So, um, Chang, Chi Hao Chang, doesn't have a phone at the moment. He doesn't have a cell phone. He's got he's got he's got one that he's filling in with. He doesn't have a proper phone. Mm. He used to have one of the most beautiful space phones, spaceship phones I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, a phone that you have, guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same type of phone. So you're very proud of that phone. What was it? It's a Sony Xperia Z. Now the amazing thing about the Sony Xperia Z, and this isn't a paid plug no, for it, Sony it Xperia is not. Z. Yeah. No, it was. I remember the first time I saw it, and the reason I got it is because I saw it in. Melbourne, mm-hmm. it was in a tank of water, submerged, and still going. This is a phone that is supposed to be waterproof. It's the phone that, on all the music videos at the moment, like is a weird, um, like trend of stars knocking their phone into a pool mm-hmm. or into a glass of water to show how waterproof it is. It's that phone. So when we were shooting a pool party ad, Chang decided to kill a bit of time by and impress some ladies. The hot by, ladies, yeah. By. <laughs> The hot ladies, the ladies the other day were discussing whether they could possibly be 17 years old. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Chang, eh? He was in trying to impress these some ladies by swiping his phone through the water and showing how waterproof it is. Clint will now demonstrate the way Chang was showing off his waterproof phone. Now, this didn't just happen once. This happened multiple times. So he's got his phone, and he would walk over to the side of the pool, and he'd go, hey, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. And he'd get down real close to the, to the water's edge, and he'd go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then he would dunk his phone in the pool, and he'd go, oh, no, I broke the phone. <laughs> and then he'd bring it up, and he'd turn the phone on, and he'd go, ha, 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 ha. The <laughs> that was what you would. That doing. was exactly what you were like, bro. Don't try and deny it. The next day, poor old Chang comes in looking like a cute little puppy dog with those beautiful brown eyes, and said to us, "Guys, I've broken my phone." <laughs> no, and was, I thought, "Oh my god!" It was. It was. It was. <laughs> he came in and he goes, "For some reason, my phone has stopped working." <laughs> Could it be because you played a gag where you dunked your phone in the pool eight times in one afternoon? No, the problem was that the ports were not closed properly, so the water slipped into one of the systems. Thus, the phone did not work. Chang doesn't want to badmouth the Sony product. That's what he doesn't want to do. So, Chang, it is a good product. You broke it while you were trying to impress some ladies. I I broke a waterproof phone. (laughs) But the reason you did it is because you were showing off, mate. If wow, you had no, yeah. well, no, well, 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 well. <laughs> if you didn't feel the need to show off, yeah. you would still have a working phone right now. Yeah, good point. So what we wanted, <laughs> what we wanted to know, what we wanted, we wanted people to call and text in about times when they've sh- tried to show off and it has backfired. Because you'll have this, you will have either done this, especially if you're a dude. I feel you're more likely yeah. to have done this if you're a dude, but not exclusively dudes. When I when I was informed to, to at St Joseph's Primary School in Nelson, Stephen Verco showed off his baby G being shockproof by taking it off his witch and ju- wa- taking it off his wrist and jumping on it, and he smashed it. <laughs> Great move, Stephen Verco. <laughs> have you done that? Have you um, have you stuffed something? up by showing off. We were talking about times when you've embarrassed yourself, when you were showing off. 
Chang was showing off to the ladies his mm. waterproof phone. He managed to break his waterproof phone, and now he doesn't have a waterproof phone anymore. The other weird thing about that, um, sorry, I forgot to mention, is we said how he was doing it when we were filming the new TV commercial at the pool. Yeah. So he was showing off. He's like, oh, I had to film TV commercial, show off <laughs> to the ladies, lost his phone, and then to add insult to injury, was cut from the TV commercial <laughs> as well because um, his acting was too crap. If you'd like to see the outtakes from Chang's acting, you can find it online at theedge.co.nz. But we thought we'd open the phones to people who... Um, have had bad luck from showing off. Yeah, yeah. So what do you? What 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 are your stories, Jason? What happened to you, man? Yeah, my um, mate bought a well, was at the time a new pulsar, and he was taking it. You know, we're all going for a spin in his pulsar, and Sick. he looks to the left, and I go, "Look at that hot chick!" And he looks over and bang, straight into the back of a car. <laughs> oh, and he was just trying to show off his new pulsar, his sick new pulsar. There's new Pulsar, 10 grand worth of damage. Oh, <laughs> that's more than a Pulsar's worth. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Because we hit a Beamer. <laughs> nice, thanks, Jace. Grace, hello. Hey, um, I broke my 2280, dropping it off the third floor of the library, trying to show how indestructible it was. <laughs> Is that one of those real old bricky Nokias? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, um, the screen fell off, and I had to hold it on with a visitor sticker from Parliament for a couple of months. <laughs> So was the gag, this phone is so old and bricky it will never break, and then it broke? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was pretty bad. You didn't have to hold on with a visitor sticker from Parliament, but you added that nice little touch, and I like that. You I'm seemed, so glad you enjoyed that, guy. You, you seemed stupid because you dropped it off the um, third floor, <laughs> but smart because you went to Parliament. <laughs> Good. Ellie, hello. Hi there. Hello. What did you do? Um. Well, I just started going out with my boyfriend, and we decided to go for... A skate, and I was like, "Yeah, I do this hill all the time. Like it's in the neighbourhood. Yeah, went down the hill, totally just face planted on the gravel. Oh, like absolutely grazed yeah. everywhere, all down my body, my face, everything. It was really embarrassing. I bet he was still keen though. Eh? <laughs> yeah, totally. We've been going out for like three years now. So oh, it's all good. apart from the bit where it's unattractive to have gravel inside your skin. Um, yeah, he, true. he probably quite would have liked. Being like the tough guy, like babe, I'll look after you. So it could have yeah. worked, could have worked in your favour, actually. Yeah, I think that's really what got him in the end. You were the damsel. You were the skateboarding, kick flipping damsel in distress. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks, Ellie. It's romantic on Valentine's Day. Josh, what did you do? Oh, uh, well, Chang will know about this. How like you're just being awesome as awesome as can be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, when you when you're just that state of awesomeness that no one needs to recognise how awesome you are. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, you'll know this. I was uh, we were a bunch of mates. We were fucking. Uh, oh, my bad. Uh, we were at a parachute. Yes. The concert, and they had a big bloody uh, what what do you call it? Not a bouncy castle. It was One of those a, inflatable slide things. Yeah, it's just yes. a massive inflatable slide. So yeah. I was with my mates, and I was like, oh, I got this. I got this. <laughs> So I went down and I, I did a flip. Yeah. With like a couple rotations in that flip. Sick. As soon as I landed on the bottom of the slide, just. <laughs> and? Broken leg in three places. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so when you went from an awesome factor of five down to what? Would you say uh, zero or were you in the negatives after that? Oh, man, that just boosted my awesome factor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, okay, that would have put your parachute out of action for the rest of the weekend, though, wouldn't it? Oh, silver lining to it, though. Yeah, what? It flooded the next day. Oh, so you had to go home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I went like, home before the flooding. Silver lining for you, not for another 30,000 people. Man, right. I love Josh. I wish you'd call in every day. <laughs> that guy's a positive dude. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Hey, um, thanks for your, <laughs> your and your stories. Guy Sharon and Clint on the bloody edge. Got a game to play, um, and we've got $1,000 up for grabs within a game that Chang invented. Chang, do you want to give a quick bit of context for the game? Okay, so the second test match is on today between the Black Caps and uh, India. Uh, Brendan McCullum, the uh, Black Caps captain, has lost the coin toss. Yeah. yeah. And he has lost eight coin toss in a row. That is amazing. Like, the world record is ten, but he has lost eight. I did some research into this. Do you mm-hmm. know what the... Do you know what the... If you were to bet on this and say, I bet you I, $100 I can lose eight coin tosses in a row. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what the odds are? No. Obviously you don't, because I've got the stats. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a 0.00195312.5% chance. So less than half of a percent. I less was- than half of half of half of a percent. 0.0001. I was just playing this game before, mm-hmm. and I actually got like four in a row or something, five so in a what, row. So what happens is... You should buy a lotto ticket. You have to get the incorrect toss. Okay, let, let's play with Guy. Guy, guess this toss. 
Heads or tail? Heads. It's a tails? So the, he won. So you won because you lost. Yeah, yeah. it's so yeah. confusing. That's one. You so you're get, trying to lose. Yeah, trying to lose. Eight in a row. Okay. So for second okay. one. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Heads. Second loss. So oh. confusing. Okay, but okay. Yes. So we get, but we get the idea of yeah. the game. No, yeah. you go. No, I want to try and win a thousand dollars. No, you Kieran don't go. get the thousand dollars. If I get this, I get a thousand dollars. No, you don't. Yes, I heads do. Let's keep on going. Heads uh, tails. tails. It's a heads. Three losses in a row. I'm on fire, baby. Heads. Hit me. Heads or tails. 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 You won. Damn uh, it. Game over. Oh, game Damn over. It. Okay, so it's not you that we actually wanted oh. to play with. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we want to play with a listener. I reckon we go with Sarah. Hello. Hi. So do you understand how the game works? I know it's very confusing, but basically you have to say heads or tails and you have to get it wrong. You have to, to lose a toss. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. You have okay. to have eight losses in a row. We've been um, asked by our bosses to please <laughs> do our best to make you lose. We can't do anything about it. It's heads or tails. The Eves doesn't have $1,000 to give away at the moment, but they'll find it if you win, okay? Okay. All right, right Sarah, <laughs> first toss. <laughs> We're the saddest radio station of all time. Let's go. Let's Sarah, play the game. First toss, heads or tails? Heads. It's a tails? So one Woo! loss. One. Okay, one. Okay. You need seven more. Second toss. Heads or tails? Tails. It's a heads. Nice. So two losses in a row. Third toss. Heads or tails? Tails. It's a heads. Oh, 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 yeah. three. three in a row. Go, Sarah. The fourth one. Birthday. Heads or tails? Heads. Fourth one is a tails. Oh. Oh. So that's four in a row. Okay, Dilma Tea Party drinks break. Um, <laughs> was this that, is not sponsored was by Dilma. Four or five? Let me go back to the air check and no, check no, it. No, 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 no. We're not doing. No, no, no. <laughs> Sarah, you're halfway there to a thousand dollars. By the okay. way. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I you, really need this. I'm you, gonna. I'm actually gonna give over half of it away to a friend who really needs it right now. So. Oh, guilt trip! Amazing. You can't guilt trip the coin, okay. Sarah. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Your okay. fifth toss: heads or tails? Um. Okay. Tails. It's a heads. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. You're, you're close. Your Three six more. toss, heads or tails? Heads. It's a tails. Oh! What does that mean? She, she's. Was oh, it a good one? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, a good oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. So okay. you're two it's tosses. So confusing. You're two tosses away from winning a thousand dollars. Your second last this toss. Is unbelievable. Heads or tails? This heads. Is, what was that again? A head. Good luck, heads. Sarah. Here we go. It's a tails. What, oh! what does that mean? What did you say? Heads or tails? I said heads. Oh my okay. god! Oh my god! Well, I have to take your word for it because yeah. we forgot to listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay. Heads or tails? So this, it's on this it's point. On this one. I'm okay. so nervous. <laughs> one thousand dollars. Sharon, we remember to give away the goddamn Sharon, money. This is amazing. Jane. Sarah, your last yeah. toss. Oh my god! I Four need to breathe. Four thousand dollars. Heads or tails? Um, heads. So if you got heads, you will lose. If you got tails, you will win. win. Okay. 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 Here so, we go. Okay. He- Hang on. Explain <laughs> to me again. So if she gets, if she gets, if she gets tails, she gets a thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Go flip it. Good so luck, you said, Sarah. You said heads, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I this am is so, so nervous. Oh, yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Oh. Sarah. Yeah. You haven't won. It was oh. a head. Oh. Oh I can God. prove it to you. I can prove it to you. It was a head. Yeah, it was a prove it, it was to you. It was a head. I was watching as well. I'm so oh. sorry. I'm so sorry, Sarah. You were oh so close. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh. Okay. What can we do for her instead? Have we got something to give her? I'll give you something. I feel so bad now. Does that make our radio show a letdown? A little bit of a oh letdown, yeah. I am so disappointed. Sarah, was, oh. so am I. If I'm disappointed for you. Wait there, okay, mate. We'll find something for you. Okay. Okay, all you. right. <laughs> Good effort, Sarah. Guy, Sharon and Clint. On the edge. So, hey, Chang. Hello. Today, you've been watching a sneak peek at the first episode of... The GC. <laughs> Season 2 returns TV 3 on Monday night at 8pm. Oh, Hey. Guy hates the GC. The w- oh, how could that be back? <laughs> <laughs> funded by New Zealand on air. You can come out of the it's corner, not, mate. No, it's not funded by New Zealand on air. You imbecile. <laughs> this is the kind of GC watcher that we have. People who don't realise it was funded by New Zealand on air last year, and everyone got real peeved off about it. Yeah. So, this year, so in New Zealand on air stopped funding it, and it's now funded uh, privately. I think by some sort of trust, but I'm not 100 sure. Is it funded by a mouldy interest? I think so, but I, not, I don't want to. Kia ora. Yeah. Chang's like, thank you for this high quality broadcasting. <laughs> No, it's pretty funny. Okay, so you've watched, you've watched the start of season two. My question is, Tame still on it? Yeah, Tame still on it. Um, fully, 
fully tattooed at the moment. Is that really bad rapping dude still on it? Yes, but he's not rapping anymore. Okay. Mm. Oh, spoiler alert. Yeah. What's he, do- <laughs> what's he doing now? Well, you just have to watch it Monday night. Don't try and tease it. Do you not know what he's doing now? No, I do know what he's doing. Tell me. Just going out with guilt. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> the same thing everyone's yeah. doing. Okay. He tried to tease it, but the spoiler alert is they're all going out with girls. More importantly, is Rosie still on Oh, it? yeah. Rosie is actually joining us on Monday's show, actually. Oh, gosh. She's going to be in studio. She's got new assets. What, like an apartment? No, assets. Body parts. He means what? breasts. This oh. is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> you are so lame. She's got new jugs. You're she per- always. She, <laughs> you're perfect. She hey, had. She had breast implants um, previously. Yep. Has she taken ones out and put in new ones? Yeah, bigger ones. So they're all property developers. Yeah. But the property that she's developing is her boobs. <laughs> 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 she's put in oh, a, she's put on a new story. Yeah, but uh, and there's some there's some <laughs> she's built a big deck out front. <laughs> there's some <laughs> Hi five, hi five, hi five. He's on fire. And, and then there's some new words. Remember last year they had aunties and oh, naps. God. This year there's some new words in there. Oh. So, yeah. Can you give us one? Uh breaking toys. Baking what, toys. Breaking toys. Breaking toys. Breaking toys. It's What's a that? Um, it's a uh, it means breaking hearts. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's yeah, okay. There's lots more words like that coming. Okay. Um, I thought breaking toys meant when you dated someone who was already in a relationship and you hated their kids, so you snapped their toys. <laughs> <laughs> Could be that as well, though, couldn't it be? No, Neff, that wasn't it. <laughs> okay. Some, nice incorporation of Neff, I like that. <laughs> some people will be into this because it's a train wreck. Uh, some people, actually, guys, some people genuinely enjoy the GC. I'm yeah, gonna, like me! <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it and review it, and it's going to probably be terrible. When's Rosie on the show with us? Monday afternoon. And when is uh, the GC back on TV? 8 p.m. Monday nights on TV. Three. Thanks, Chan. Good review. Guy Sharon and Clint. On the edge. Uh-huh. There you go. There's a the podcast. If you just joined us, yes. uh, you will be listening to the first live on radio broadcasting services. First live um, dressing of a suit <laughs> on air. Clint is looking absolutely dapper. I'm going to put the... Um, uh, I've been blocked from Facebook privileges, but I'm going to send the, um, the uh, photos... To Chang and he'll put them up on the Facebook page and in the jacket for everyone to visit and see how good Clint looks. You look amazing. Now I forgot that you're going to a lesbian wedding, which is also very exciting. Yeah, yeah the one we talked about on Your the show. Your first week. gay wedding. Yeah, yes. if you want to listen to an older podcast, you can find out about that wedding. Wednesday, I think it was. Now we were given a, ba- a bouquet of flowers for Valentine's yeah. by the New Zealand um, Brain Foundation or something, yeah. Neurological yeah. Foundation. Yes. They're absolutely stunning they're not like your cheesy flowers you normally get this is a bouquet of flowers which looks absolutely unbelievable yeah. we're giving them for free yeah. I've got no purpose for them because I'm a sad and lonely man yeah. Chang uh, sorry Clint yeah. sorry Clint you, you could give this to your girlfriend when you arrive at the wedding and it would be such a beautiful touch I can't give another woman flowers at another woman's wedding like that's up yeah that, uh, that's a good point well don't give it to him at, at the wedding but give it to her at some special time no, nah, they're free flowers. Uh, girls, wouldn't, I got them for free. She'd be like, "It's not. It's not. It's this is the thought. It's the gesture." So when you go up and meet her, yeah, are you, what are you going to do? Just give a little kiss on the. Give her a nice kiss. Yeah. Are you going to hand her anything? Oh, because it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's Valentine's. You've got to make an extra effort, mate. I'll just say, look, what I got you. It's me in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crappy present if ever I've known one. You've got to give her the flowers. I can't give her the flowers. Hey, thank well, at least we're going to take the photo with you in the suit and the flowers because they that. finish off the suit, the, the, the look, mate. I'm really disappointed in you. You're not a romantic. <laughs> have a good weekend, everybody. Can, can I have your girlfriend? No. no. No, sorry. That was weird. A guy, Shannon and Clint podcast.